Well, investigators will travel to the Northern Territory today to determine what caused a US military aircraft crash, killing three Marines. Joining us live now is the Defence Minister, Richard Miles. Uh, Minister, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. So are, are we any closer at this stage to learning what caused the crash? Oh, no, Pete, it's early days. Obviously, the, the, it's still within 24 hours of the crash having occurred. But as you said, investigators are on the way. And what is now triggered is, in fact, a series of investigations that will occur around the, the crash of the Osprey, which, which will include an American um, investigation as well and will work with the United States around the jurisdictional basis of them. But right now our focus is on providing all the support that we can to the United States. I've been in contact with uh, Ambassador Kennedy yesterday and again overnight um, to express our condolences to her on behalf of the government and the, and the nation for the loss of those three Marines. Uh, five are in the Royal Darwin Hospital as we speak, re receiving the attention that they need. Um, and in due course, we will, we will understand exactly what's happened here. Do you, do you um, know if all five of those will pull through? Uh, I, I, I don't know the condition of uh, the, the five, um, I, I, so it would be uh, wrong of me to, to speculate about that. I do know that they are uh, receiving all the care that they need at this moment. OK, you, you talked about this your first answer there. It, so the US takes the lead with this investigation. How, how does it get carved up and, and what sort of support do we offer? Uh, well, in fact, there'll be a number of investigations, um, uh, w w which is what happens in an incident of this kind. And um, I mean, Australian authorities will look at this as well, uh, given that the deaths have occurred um, in Australian territory. But we'll work closely with the United States around the jurisdictional basis of the, the various investigations. And inevitably, when we have an incident of this kind, the various authorities which have jurisdiction here and are required to investigate the accident work very closely together. And we'll make sure that that happens with the United States as well. Um, you know, we obviously need to understand what's occurred here. Um, the US operate this, operate this platform, the, the Ospreys, um, and so clearly they are going to want to understand exactly what yeah. the circumstances of this are as well. But this, this investigation will be thorough. We don't have them, do we, Ospreys? No, we don't. But, uh, I mean, they're a unique capability. Uh, uh, they're they're uh, uh, f effectively a helicopter which turns into a plane in flight with uh, the rotors which are affected, which pivot. Um, they are operated by the United States Marines and, are f and form, part, well, uh, form part of this uh, exercise, Exercise Predators Run, which we do with the United States, the Philippines, Indonesia and East Timor. Uh, but the Ospreys are also part of the marine rotation that is in Darwin during the course of the dry season. So uh, they're a familiar feature around Darwin at this time. Um, and they've also participated in, in exercise talisman sabre. So we don't operate them, but they are very okay. familiar to us and we work closely with the United States in the operation of them. Yeah, and, and a fatal crash has happened involving one before here. Are, are you convinced that they're safe? Uh, well, look, they're a very unique platform and they provide a, an incredible capability to the United States. Um, obviously, all uh, aircraft that the United States operate and, and that we operate are, are certified as being um, safe before any uh, flight takes place. We, we, we know that and we're comfortable with working with the United States with this platform and we have done over uh, many years now. Um, and again, I think it's important that we allow this investigation to take place to, to actually understand what has happened. But I, I think what it does say, Pete, is that there is, you know, there are risks involved when uh, defence forces exercise. Um, and but it's really important that defence forces do exercise. You know, we don't have a capable defence force unless we engage in exercises and training of this kind, so that we are match fit. Um, and doing exercises of this kind with other countries, obviously between ourselves in the United States, but with the other countries involved in this particular exercise, 
also demonstrates the capability of us to work together, and that has a, a really significant deterrent effect. So this is critically important work that we engage in, but it does carry risk. Yep. And it's a reminder of the sacrifice and the significance of all of those who wear our uniforms each and every day. I